mm -hmm. you know, life is really around the corner for them. So a lot of good stuff. Uh -huh. I will say, Monica, yes. the best question I heard. Uh-huh. They were they're asking, you know, if they see me and Monica, I said how we match sure. clothes yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They said, wait. They said, Monica, Monica Day has two kids. She's too young to have two kids. Oh, God bless them. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, aren't I you said, all just blessings <laughs> in my life? <laughs> and I said, That's so kind. Said, she is. So that's a wonderful person. I know. Yes. These, mm -hmm. these Monica, kids. it's crazy how you can be these 25 and be so much right. already. I know. Right. I I'm, I'm so young. I have two <laughs> children. <laughs> It's, it's shocking. Uh, all of those kids are, are uh, I, frankly, I could be their mother. Stop it. I'm no, probably older no, than some of them. No, no, no. That no. Yeah, that's, that's, Stop that's, it. No, that's what well, no, They're that's a great math. class. Great. I love that. <laughs> and it is. When I was in high school, that's kind of how I was able to find broadcasting, was we did a daily yeah, broadcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love seeing areas around the region still able to do that. And I do want to give you the heads up that if you're watching, trying to plan the next couple of days, tomorrow is especially going to be the day that you want to plan for extra time on the roads or even maybe stay home throughout the morning if you have that option to work from home. We already have winter weather advisories set to go into effect at midnight and continue on until one o'clock in the afternoon. So that's why we have that big swath of purple. You'll notice some of the counties down to the south, technically not under this, but I'm still expecting a sloppy morning drive all across the state. Big thing that I'll be watching first is after midnight tonight. Initially, we start to see some snowfall. You'll notice along the 70 corridor and north, upwards of two to four inches of snow. Snowfall totals will be an inch or less from areas like Circleville southward because as we head throughout the morning drive tomorrow, we'll start to mix that snow with some rain and that's definitely going to eat into those totals, but still give us that chance for some slick road conditions. In the meantime, though, Little to no snowfall showing up across the region first thing this morning. You really have to head up toward Buffalo, up toward the northeast in order to see any of those flurries flying around first thing this morning. So it is kind of a nice sigh of relief that we're starting off the morning with the gray conditions, but at least no rain or snow in the forecast just yet. Window Nation Tower camera also showing us a nice clear view, so visibility also not going to be an issue for us. One thing, though, that I kind of want to give you a heads up for the first thing this morning is that typical winter chill. We're at 27 degrees, but feel more like 20 in Columbus. Even when you factor in that light south to southwesterly breeze, we'll see just a few breaks in the clouds as we head throughout the morning. But later we get in the afternoon, the cloud cover will thicken up and help to cap our temperatures at just 37 degrees. So I think it's going to be another day where you want to grab those warm winter layers. Think about if you're getting ready to send the kids off to the bus, grabbing the scarf and the gloves, because again, not actively going to see those rain or snow showers today, but the next system is already getting going. In fact, by noon today, I'll be watching this area of low pressure building in to eastern parts of Texas. It's going to be giving them rain that will eventually change into snow and then push its way toward Arkansas by 5 o'clock this evening. Meantime, though, you'll notice over here in central Ohio, we'll still be staying dry. We'll have that cloud cover like we mentioned, and it really won't be until midnight. So I want to pause this at 2 o'clock in the morning when we'll start to see those first bands of showers. Areas south of 70, like we mentioned, that'll be where we start to see the better opportunity for a mix initially. 4 to 6 o'clock in the morning, areas like Columbus, north of 70. So as we get that early morning commute going, that's when I'm anticipating that 2 to 4 inches of snow. And then showers not only start to lessen by 9 o'clock in the morning up till noon tomorrow, but that'll be where we start to mix with rain. 5 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, showers will primarily just be a chilly rainfall, but with temperatures in the upper 30s, we could still see a little bit of that wintry mix. And again today, it's the day to prepare, maybe run any of those errands that you need to because we'll just have that typical winter chill. In fact, 37 degrees right in line with the normal afternoon high for this time of the year. First thing tomorrow morning will be in the upper 20s to low 30s, so that's why I think we'll be starting with snowfall, then transitioning into that wintry mix. So again, be on the lookout for things like delays and stay at home and work at home from if you can, because I'm expecting some sloppy road conditions. You know, it's Thursday and Friday, quite the chill to the air alongside a few more light snow showers.